Hey there, Dave here. Why am I sitting in a pitch black room? Today we're getting a first look at the new black card. We're not gonna be able to see a thing until we turn some lights on, so way better. For some reason, I've always wanted to have my own talk show set, so I built one. The Centurion card from American Express is often just referred to as the black card because that's what it is. For the longest time, it was kind of an urban legend whether or not it even existed. Jerry Seinfeld claims to be responsible for it. Do you know why there is a black card? Why? Me. What, for real? Yeah. The rumor was that there were three in the whole world. Jerry Seinfeld used to do commercials for American Express, and on the set one day, someone on the crew asked him if he was one of the three. And the crew guy, a crew guy comes out and he says, you got the black card? I go, no, what's the black card? But he was curious, and he called the president of American Express and asked about it. Is there a black card? He says, it's just a rumor. It doesn't exist. He said, but you know what? It's not a bad idea. Uh-huh. And so they developed it, and they gave me the first one. Fun story. Who knows if it's true? I kind of think it is. The black card, the Centurion card, is the most exclusive and prestigious credit card anywhere in the world. And believe it or not, if you've ever heard me talk about credit cards, you know that this isn't mine. I don't believe in annual fees, and... It's kind of ridiculous, but a good friend of mine has had this card and he was trusting enough to give it to me so that we could open it together. Even the box is nice. It's that kind of velvety cardboard. I'm a sucker for cool packaging, but not so fast. First, I need you to smash the like button. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I'll wait. Thank you. So they've completely redesigned the card. Apparently it's still titanium. And before this came, they sent this announcing all of the changes to the program, including doubling the fee. It in itself is a really nice little booklet customized to the card member. My friend gave me this on the condition that I would blur his name and not reveal his card number. You'll have to stay tuned to see if that happens. So in this video, we're going to take an inside look at the perks reserved for the elite, the richest of the rich. What is this card? How do you get one? How much does it cost? What perks does it give you? Who is this card really for? And most importantly, is it worth it? But first, I can't stand the anticipation anymore. Let's open this box. I only get one take at this. You ready? Here we go. That's satisfying. So again, inside the box, the same kind of velvety cardboard. This thing appears to be the credit card. It also comes with instructions on how to recycle your old card. There's some paperwork up top. A blank piece of paper with your address on it. That's kind of a letdown. You'd think they'd put something in there. But now the moment you've really been waiting for, what's in the box within the box? So inside the lid is a letter from the chairman and CEO of Amex. Centurion has always been for distinguished members like you, those who break new ground and have a meaningful impact on the world. That's nice. And here the card inside of a leather wallet. Made in Italy, it's a Tom Ford. I wonder if anyone will actually use this free wallet. Here now, the first look at the new card. Is the number on it? No. <laughs> the number's on the back. Can you see it? I have to say that this new design is awesome. It's kind of matte black with the logo embossed. It has a nice texture. The card is definitely lighter weight than other titanium cards, the um, Apple card feels to me to be twice as heavy. If this card didn't cost $10,000, I might consider it. It's nice. I need to grab a thumbnail. <laughs> I really do like the way this card feels. And it has that really nice uh, titanium feel. Although, let's compare it to the Apple card, which I have around here somewhere. As you know, I don't carry the Apple card, but I do keep a wad of credit cards in this envelope labeled wallet. <laughs> so yes, the the Apple card is slightly heavier. It's like good versus evil. Why do you really have this card? To show off. And how do you do that? First, this is the black card from Amex. That has a good sound. And then this is the Apple card. <laughs> I have to say, Apple wins. In stereo, we're available. A more normal flex at the restaurant. Yeah. Definitely Apple. But we're not here to talk about the Apple card. 
we're here to talk about the black card. So the black card is designed for high net worth individuals, for CEOs, for celebrities, and my friend apparently. The only way to get this card is to be invited by American Express. Generally, they invite people who have a platinum card, who spend 250 to a half million dollars per year on that platinum card. That's not an official published requirement. That's just kind of anecdotally what people say they have done in order to get this card. In fact, from time to time, they stop sending out invitations for this card completely because they want this card to be exclusive. Another way they keep this card exclusive is by charging an outrageous annual fee. You have to pay a $10,000 initiation fee, plus it used to be $2,500 a year for this card. They've doubled it. It's now $5,000 a year. So in your first year of having this card, you're spending $15,000. That's ridiculous. I would never get this card. And if you want to know my real thoughts on annual fees, I've got a video just for you. I kind of think it's American Express's way of thinning out how many people have this card, making it more exclusive, and perhaps even making room for a card in between this and their platinum card. $5,000 for this, $550 a year for the platinum card. That leaves room in the middle. I think in the next year or so, they're going to introduce a $1,500 a year card with similar perks to this, some of the earnings features from the platinum and even the gold card. It would be a status symbol card, but not as exclusive as this. Maybe still require an invitation, maybe just apply for it. Amex, if you're watching and if you want to know exactly what this new imaginary card should include, hit me up in the comments below. American Express has been revamping their entire lineup, the platinum card, the gold card, the black card. They all have new benefits and features. A quick rundown of the new benefits of the Centurion card. They're giving card members $1,000 of credit at Saks Fifth Avenue, but they make it hard to use. You can't just go buy a $1,000 item and have it wiped off of your bill. They're giving you $250 per quarter. The Platinum card also has a Saks Fifth Avenue credit, but instead of $250 four times a year, you get $50 twice per year. So if you shop at Saks, maybe that's worth something to you. This is the big one that a lot of people are talking about, a membership to Equinox. It's one of the higher level memberships. It's the destination membership that gets you into any of their clubs, except for their most expensive exclusive clubs, the e-clubs, which doesn't really make sense to me. If you're trying to be the most exclusive credit card, wouldn't you just give them the most expensive membership? The destination membership is valued at $300 per month. I guess that's a good benefit if you have an Equinox near you and if you want to use it. My friend used to actually have an Equinox membership, but now he just has a personal trainer. The rich keep getting richer. They're also giving card members a membership to the private suite. That's this thing at LAX airport where instead of waiting in the terminal or even the airport lounge, you actually get your own private suite, not in the main terminal. You have your own TSA security line. When it's time for your flight, a car picks you up and takes you right to the airplane. I would love to try that someday, but I'm not gonna pay for that. The membership costs $4,500 and American Express is going to pay that for you. What they don't cover is actually using the service, which costs $2,700 for a domestic flight and $3,000 for an international flight. Side note, if you have money to burn, you can actually use the private suite without being a member and just pay a little bit higher rate. No, thank you. What else? Centurion membership services. Starting in April, they're essentially going to be enhancing some of the concierge services that they offer to their card members. By the way, the Platinum card also has a high level of concierge service. They call it Platinum Travel Services. The Centurion card calls it Centurion Membership Services. I'm pretty sure it's the same people answering the phone, but don't quote me on that. Even the Gold card has what they call personalized travel services. So three tiers of probably the same thing. Another new benefit they're adding is clear the airport security thing that's even faster than the TSA pre-check. That normally costs $179 for the first person and $50 for each additional family member. The Centurion card covering that for a family of four. But interestingly, your kids have to be 18 or older and live in your household. So basically trust fund babies that live at home. The green card from American Express also added clear as a benefit this year. They give you $100 of credit, but instead of a $5,000 annual fee, that card only costs $150 a year. They're adding trip cancellation and interruption coverage. That used to be something that even Centurion members had to pay extra for when they were booking a trip. I think it was like 30 bucks. So maybe that's good. Also trip delay insurance. If your trip is delayed six hours, they'll give you $500 of reasonable reimbursement for things you might need to get you by for those six hours. I've used a benefit like that from another card in the past. Do you know how hard it was to actually prove to them that I needed to buy a new charger and some headphones and some other things? I think they paid me back for about half of what I spent. I digress. And you get to continue to enjoy your favorite Centurion benefits like 
upgraded travel, which is kind of cool because they give you Delta Platinum Medallion status, which I think is the second highest tier you can be on Delta. These videos take forever to make because I like to verify what I'm saying. Um, yes, Diamond status is higher than Platinum status. But still, I think that's the only way you can buy your way into any airline program, which is great if you fly Delta. My friend and I both live in Dallas, Texas, and flying Delta is a huge pain because both American Airlines and Southwest are based here. That's pretty much all that I ever fly. The Centurion card did at one point have a relationship with American Airlines, but they don't have that anymore. But if you fly Delta, that's good. And Seamless Arrivals is actually a cool feature. I've used a service like this. Basically, someone meets you at the gate, expedites customs and immigration for you, takes care of your bags, arranges ground transportation, and they do that for free. You just have to book in advance. And that's pretty much it. The second to the last page of this book, they notify their members that they're doubling the annual fee. And I think they're trying to justify it by giving you some additional benefits. Technically, the Equinox membership is worth $3,600 a year. If you use it, the SACS credit is worth $1,000. I guess you can find some $250 item per quarter and redeem that. This card actually has a lot of other perks that this book doesn't mention, perks that aren't new to the program. We'll run through these very briefly. You get premium status at two different hotel chains. You get Hilton Honors Diamond status and Marriott Bonvoy Gold Elite status. The Amex Platinum card gives you the same level of status with Bonvoy and Gold status at Hilton. You get premium rental car status, Hertz Platinum, Avis President's Club. Do people really rent cars anymore? I'd rather Uber, but that's just me. And these people probably flew their chauffeur with them. <laughs> the Centurion card has what they call the Centurion Dining Program. It's kind of interesting. American Express basically has a table on hold at a thousand restaurants, hard to get reservation places around the world. And if you're a Centurion member, you can get it on a first come, first serve basis. Little known secret, the Platinum card also promises special access to restaurants. And I'm pretty sure they're just taking unused tables from the Centurion people and giving it to the Platinum people. Both the Platinum card and the Centurion card have the International Airline Program. Basically, if you buy a qualifying first or business class ticket and you book it through the Amex Travel website and it's a refundable fare, you can get a discount on your companion travelers or a business class to first class upgrade. With the Platinum card, you have to pay a $40 fee to get this service. With the new Centurion card, you don't have to pay a fee at all. You still have to pay for the airfare though. Both the Centurion card and the Platinum card give you access to Centurion lounges. But with the Centurion card, you get a special VIP experience. My friend says that when he's checked in, he's gotten a free gift. They've given him like a Bluetooth speaker one time, some headphones one time. And I really think that's what this card is about. It's those little extra perks that you're not really expecting because you're not really earning any points. You do earn one membership reward point, but the platinum card gives you more, the gold card gives you more, but it does have a neat feature where when you spend your member reward points on travel through the MX site, they give you 50% credit back. So it essentially doubles the value of a member reward point. You can't get that anywhere else. Although with the business platinum card from Amex, I believe you get a 35% credit back on those points you spend for travel. They have the fine hotels and resorts program. They have primary rental car coverage. A lot of cards have that these days, including the Chase Sapphire Reserve, invitation only experiences, purchase protection, return protection, baggage insurance. Overall, it's a good card, but can you really justify $5,000 a year, a $10,000 initiation fee? I can't. If it's rewards and benefits you're looking for, I think some of the other Amex cards actually are better than the Centurion card. And in many cases, you're getting the same or similar perks. So as far as a hands-on first-hand experience with this card, or actually because I don't have this card, this is going to be second-hand experience. Everyone I know who has this card raves about the concierge service. They say they really get to know you and are great at booking travel. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could just get a travel agent and get the same thing. If you have this card though, it's probably good for your personal assistant to have a personal person to talk to at American Express. My friend that let me borrow his card says that he uses it kind of as a fashion accessory. He doesn't have expensive handbags. He doesn't wear jewelry. This is all he's got. Although he does have an absurd number of very expensive watches. To all my friends watching, you know whose card this is. He says that when people actually know what this card is, they treat you differently. This card gets you noticed. Personally, for me, I'd rather be discreet and not signal to the waiter at the restaurant. If you use this card for a meal and you give a low tip, there's something wrong with you. This was one of the first metal credit cards, but now there are a lot of those, and I'm not sure that this really has the same prestige, except for people who are really in the know and know what the requirements are to get this card. So ultimately, 
is this card worth $15,000 your first year and $5,000 each additional year? From a simple fee and point standpoint, absolutely not. But if you do already have another card that's earning at a higher rate, this one does get you the 50% back when you redeem your points. So I guess that's neat. Is this card worth it from a status you can't otherwise buy standpoint? That is one of the things I really like about this card. You do get the status on Delta and with hotels, but really there are other ways to get that status that costs less. Other credit cards that give you the hotel status, maybe from a feeling special point of view, maybe this card is worth it if you're into that sort of thing. Personally, it's not for me. I started using this generic looking, not fancy card for 5.25% cash back at restaurants. I use this card for 2% cash back on just about everything else. I'm still working on switching from the Uber card to something else for travel. Stay tuned, video coming soon. But I guess if you're worth a hundred million dollars, you should have this card just to tell everyone I'm worth a hundred million dollars. And then you don't even care about the $5,000 a year annual fee. You just want the best of the best. Oprah has talked about having the black card. Kim Kardashian has talked about having the black card. Kanye has the black card. For some reason, my friend has the black card. So in conclusion, overall, even though I have not yet been invited to join this exclusive club and give them $15,000 for the first year of being an exclusive member of the Black Card Society, and then $5,000 a year after that, this card is really not for me. And in fact, my friend who has been using this card for how many years now? Member since 94, he's had this card since 2012, and he is upset about this doubling of the annual fee, which was already an outrageous, higher than any other credit card's annual fee. He's considering canceling. He's told me they've basically added benefits that he didn't want and he won't use, and they're charging him for these benefits whether he wants them or not. Giving you benefits that you have to pay additional money to use, like the $3,000 you'll spend to stay in the private suite at LAX airport when you're flying internationally, or the Equinox gym membership, which is available in a very limited number of markets. But if you have the money and the fees are irrelevant to you, I guess it gives you some peace of mind. It gives you some level of prestige. But if you're looking for a card that just makes sense, this is not it. If you have this card, let me know in the comments. Let me know why you have it. And for the rest of us who don't have this card, if you were invited to get the card, would you accept? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to this guy for letting me borrow his card. I should probably take this card and run to Mexico and never be heard from again. That's for another video. My name's Dave Hansen. I'll see you next time. Yeah.